And so in the first part of this message, you're probably saying, well, all right, well, then, then Pastor Chris, how does this apply to me? What, what's the application of this first part? Let me ask you this, is when you know you should pray for someone right in a moment, do you, everybody ready? Pull your, I'm getting ready to get in your bubble. <laughs> do you pray for them or do you declare korban? Do you, do you, oh, I don't feel comfortable praying, or I don't know what to say, or I don't, or I'll pray later, or, you see what I'm saying? Like, Korban became like this kind of religious tax shelter, if you will. This religious, you know, tax shelter that they could, they could keep from doing what it is that they really should do by slapping Korban on it. Sometimes we do that same thing in our lives, right? We know we should pray for somebody, and then we'll say, we just kind of slap this type of korban on it. And we say, well, maybe I'll pray later. How often do you pray later? Or maybe we know we should read our Bible more. And we should have a time every day that we really spend time reading the word of God. But we're busy and we got to do this and we got to do that. And we got to go here and we got to go there. And so we don't really have time to do that. And so we declare a type of korban. And maybe we, we go by a calendar that has a verse a day. And I'm not against verse a day calendars. But that's, that's not a quiet time. That's not reading and meditating on the word of God. Amen? 